All right, welcome everybody over on YouTube and of course all the wonderful people here in Twitch chat as well. We have another donation deck for today with Jeskai Legends. So uh, this deck doesn't have too many of the new cards. It's basically just Absorb is looking like the only uh, new card in the main deck. Over on the sideboard, Tithe Taker is a, a pretty interesting one um, where uh, people may not be kind of expecting you to have a lower cost creature and it just um, like against other counter spell decks and just kind of hurts their mana during your turn. And we got lots of removal uh, for different things. So Jeskai Legends. With the help of Wrath, we can play our Angels at instant speed. And uh, yeah, let's try it out. So here we go. Thanks, Higher Visions. Jeskai Legend. <laughs> yep, Sagana, that's what we're doing. Okay, uh, I'm going to get the YouTube video started for the teamer Vanifer. Let's get that uploading while we're going on here. If you missed some of the decks from today or yesterday and you'd like to see them, um... The videos are all up on YouTube of everything else we've played, except for Teamer Vanifar just a little bit ago. How many lands we got in this deck? 26? And we just had one lander, one lander? That's unlucky. I like the Search for Canta quite a bit, though. That's a good turn two play. That'll help us, like, hit our land drops. This is, a, this is definitely a really good five card hand. Um, we'll see if we can compete with the opponent still. Not a land drop, but it is a, a real good card. Okay, we got the land drop underneath it. So, hoping they play something else that dies to this Clarion here. Perfect. One more thing. Growth Chamber Guardian. Just pretty scary letting them untap with multiple land or else they could even go like already have like Carnage Timer next turn, Vivian Reed, all that kind of stuff already. Ooh, that's a good one. They'll help us out. Tick I on up. You may regret that choice. Um, done. Is this? I don't know exactly how to do that. Does that work? There we go. Perfect. Yeah, DD is for donation deck. So these are decks that, that people donate for. If you'd like to, if you have like a deck that you'd like me to play here on stream, it's only a $20 donation, and then I'll play your deck through a league. Whoa! Gigantosaurus? That thing's really big. Um, let's just go ahead and tick on up. Oh, that justice strike. Oh, that'd be so good. All right, so I think, I think it's worth it to trade Wrath, Compassion, and Justice Strike for the Gigantosaurus. So I'm just going to, um, 
Oh gosh, there's another one. What kind of sweepers do we have in the main deck? We have the one Urza's Ruinous Blast. And then three Justice Strike. Those are my only removal spells for 10 tens. <laughs> Timothy's dream. Go, Timmy, go. Yeah. 10 tens are big. Oh, right. I have Teferi. That's a good removal spell for a 10 10. What was lost is now returned. Kill one, tuck another. I know, but you need to slow down. Okay, no more gi Gigantosaurus Rexes. <laughs> Crushing Timmy's dreams with the fairy. Yeah. Thoughts on the balance of power between Esper and Jeskai now. Um, yeah, I kind of like where Esper is at. Like, I, I think Kaya's Wrath is is incredibly good. Um, yeah, kind of like where Esper is at. Are you certain of your decision? Nah, Vanif Vanifar didn't work too well for us, unfortunately. I I like the I like the deck, and we've. Like the deck just needs like you know tuning, and and after the league, uh, I talked about like some changes that we can make. Keep um, up the pace. You know it, it's kind of, it's not like super easy to make the Vanfar deck right away, and we just need a little bit of tuning with it. Um. Oh yeah, and you have Cry of Carnarium in Esper as well. That's a good point. Um. Anyway, the. The combination of Rekindling Phoenix and Biogenicus with Vanifar is incredibly good. Using one Phoenix, you can sack to go get an Ooze. Uh, next turn, you know, you get your Phoenix back, you can sack it to get another Ooze. Like, that's just it's a very, very nice energy there. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can restart the client after this match. Because, yeah, it is getting laggy. I've been on for over seven hours. So, yeah, it's getting laggy. Good call. Help remind me to do that. Oh. I don't really have many ways left. Oh, I have that I have another justice strike. One more justice strike to deal with this 1010. Yeah, we're gonna play other decks tonight. I think I'm gonna play the Naya Value deck again. We had a whole lot of fun with that one yesterday. I think that's maybe the next next up. Let's do that one up next. <sighs> gates deck. All right, we can play gates. Two people right in a row immediately say build a gates deck. You know we gotta do it. Alright, gates and then Naya value. We need that to should move finish quickly. off our stream. Yeah, Aristocrats definitely Our felt like a solid deck. An excellent choice. No, I haven't thought about playing a Simic Ascendancy deck at all. That doesn't sound too appealing. Really, auto tap? You're just gonna tap the. Just gonna tap the Escanta there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. The game's over, but still. Oh right, and I can also untap it. Soul Tide Control. 
I mean, I think Sultai Vanifar would work pretty well. I mean, I think that's a good color combination for, for Vanifar. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow, though. We're going to make Sultai Vanifar tomorrow. So, yeah, I'll be streaming normal time tomorrow from 3 to 10 Eastern. Um, we'll play four decks a day. So that's, that's going to be a deck that we're going to build for tomorrow, Sultai Vanifar. Yeah, Revitalize is good against the aggro decks. And, you know, it cycles, so it's not that bad against, necessarily bad against anything, so it just cycles. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're going to build a Gates deck. Y'all are going to have to help me with this Gates deck. Alright. Uh, lots of, mo lots more removal. Um... I guess Blast and Binding is pretty awkward together. Hmm. I guess Blast and Binding is kind of awkward. I'll just play the Blast. Gate Lich's Mastery? Nah, that's too much. Yeah, we're going to play the definitely the three mana creature that gets plus one plus one for each gate. Make a Krasis deck tomorrow? Okay. So, Krasis deck. I think for a Krasis deck, you would want to play Teamer. And you want to play Nikia of the old ways. I think that's the best way to make Krasis really good. Auto tapping always highlights my Cabal and then in the last second decides to go for my Treasure Cove when I still need it. <laughs> yep. All right, just need a white mana. One white mana, and we can cast everything in our hands. Mm -hmm. I have been surprised. I've played you know, a lot of leagues yesterday and now today, and I've played against zero Wilderness Reclamation Nexus of Fate decks. Just absolute zero. In fact, basically zero Wilderness Reclamation decks then. What's this? Too too Vigilant? Yeah, Nexus is probably really good in best of one when people can't sideboard against you. Thanks, IPD. Sanguine Sacrament's pretty interesting for that deck. That's an that's an instant, right? Yeah, that's a that's a good card for that deck. Nice, Wu Tang. The card that I have not seen anybody I've not seen a single person that's playing Wilderness Reclamation and um and Nexus of Fate, I've not seen a single person play the new impulse and I don't I don't understand why not. I feel like the new impulse would be great in that deck, but I'm not seeing anybody play it at all. Like maybe 
people are just overlooking the new impulse. Yeah, it's sorcery speed, but that's okay. I mean, you're going to untap your lands at end step, so it's it's okay to play things at the beginning of the game. And plus, like, yeah, it's, it's something to do at the beginning of the game that really, like, helps you find your Wilderness Reclamation or your Teferi or your Nexus of Fate. It digs so far. Four cards. I don't remember the name of it. It's just, it's just blue... Blue in a color list, look at the top four cards of your library, put one into your hand. I don't remember what the name of the card is. Shimmer or something? Okay, you have them in your deck? Okay, yeah, it's, so... Yeah, you have it in your deck. I just, I hadn't seen anybody have it in their deck. I guess somebody's saying the Matt Nass played it in, the, in his deck. That's, that's good, yeah, like, I feel like that card's really good. Yeah, I like our, the Hadana's Climb deck we played earlier. I like it. The, our sideboard still needs some work. But I like what, we're, what we got going on in that deck. When every... Well, well no circle is in every one of the decks you've seen? I haven't seen very many. I just hadn't seen one with it yet, though. Um, yeah, there's still Jeskai Control in the metagame. Yeah. Shimmer of Possibilities. There we go. Good job. My name went made mythic with Theater of Horrors. Awesome. If you had to choose between Mardu Aristocrats and Esper Super Friends, which one would you prefer and why? Mardu Aristocrats by a mile. Vine Mare, huh? We have something for this Vine Mare. I'm slightly worried about a future Vine Mare. Slightly. No, I'm I'm really not. Um Yeah, the Esper Super Friends was you know like but of course, like to be fair, the Mardu Aristocrats deck was a deck I built, the the Esper Super Friends deck was a, a donation deck. So it wasn't like really my cup of tea exactly, but um there's a lot of cards that I didn't think would be as good as they were and they overperformed in the Esper uh, control deck. Man, we got really stuck on lands, but the opponent got stuck on lands even worse. Sorry, opponent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 38 cards similar to deck lists. Really, MTG bot? Oh. Oh yeah, if you want all the deck lists, it's just decks. That's that's the exclamation point decks gets you there. All right, Jeskai Legends is one and zero. Oh. All right, so for tomorrow, let me write these down before I forget. Tomorrow we have, we're saying, uh, um, Soltai Vanifar. And yes, that deck's going to have a Muldratha in it. And we're going to play Teamer, Krasis. I feel like I need a Rakdos deck with, um... There you go, right underneath you, B2 Brawler, right there. Um, I feel like I need to play a Rakdos deck with Spawn of Mayhem. I haven't done that yet. I think Sultai's in it. 
Did you play emergency powers in any match with Esper Super Friends? We did not cast that card, no. Detection Tower. That's good against Dive Down. Yeah, the new third pseudo thoughtsies is good. Yep. So we're gonna have Rakdos spawn. Not exactly sure what that deck's gonna look like yet, but that's gonna be a spawn of a mayhem deck. They don't have double black up for contempt. Can't cast down a wrath. Trophy. I'm keeping Shalai up, which is, you know, like dive down, plus like other dive down. But then they have Detection Tower also. Oh, that Detection Tower is so good. Yep, that Detection Tower is certainly a problem. Just keep up the pace. Yeah, it doesn't counter like the whole deck's gimmick, but these two cards, Shalai and Dive Down, it certainly counters those two. All right, opponent, what do you got? All right, and then I think our, our other deck tomorrow, well, that's Teamer, Soltai. Those are two other blue-green decks. Soltai, Teamer, Rakdos. Guess those are, none of those are white decks. So yeah, I can't, can't use Dive Down to protect my creature because of the Detection Tower, so we're gonna just go, gonna have to go ahead and absorb that. Um, yeah, they had mana for Detection Tower because of Druid. I trade both of these for to keep Teferi alive. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. The Raph and the Shalai aren't really winning anything on their own. Sultai Ascendant, thank you so much for the uh, sub, sub there. Don't make another move. Uh, 
High alert walls deck. Okay. You know what? I'm not. That could done. be fun. An Arcades deck. Thanks, Dusky. Gonna take out some of their mana. Just a little bit. Hmm. It still isn't going the best for us. Having a few too many lands over here. Dive down doesn't say anything. These lands aren't doing anything. So we're really relying on Teferi to draw us into other cards. Ugh, that card's good. No, I did not have open mana to dive down to save a creature, no. I tapped out to cast the Absorb on the Ravenous Chupacabra. We have one Urza's Ruinous Blast in the main deck. That's like the that's the like our best card against Carnage Sirens. For plan B. Our Urza's Ruinous Blast. For the most part, you know, like most of our sweepers are in the sideboard. Kinda in general. Hurry! I will defend my well chosen. <laughs> no, nobody's put Teamer Drakes in the queue. We're gonna make a Teamer Krasis deck tomorrow. Hydroid Krasis. more games all right we need to draw we need to draw um, Urza's Ruinous Blast the problem is I only have one Urza's Ruinous Blast How convenient. An excellent choice. well we're getting rid of a lot of lands It may not have rhythm. No I think I may want to just play it with nothing but creatures in the deck. So I think I want to make it like a Nikio the old ways so we can get a lot of mana um, for Krasis. And then nothing but creatures. Because you can't cast non-creature spells with Nikio in play. So that would certainly be with Frilled Mystics also, because that's a creature with interaction. Um, Ravager Worm fights things, so play that card. Yep, yeah, you can, yeah, you can use your mouse and hover over the different cards, and you can read all the cards and play. Um, choice and you know you can see the graveyards everything like that You can play both Rhythm and Nikia. 
Is Teamer Drake better than Is It Drake? I don't Do think so. Me. I don't know what green adds to the Drake deck. We're gonna play all creatures and four growing rights of Itlamok. Wow. Flood it out. All right, so sideboard, we got Takali Honor Guard. Uh, then we got Cleansing Novas, Ruinous Blasts. Um, I think we need another Coil to exile things. I need to take out Clarions. Justice Strike doesn't really kill things. Dive down out, Clarion back in. Put Nikia in a Gruel Frenzy deck. Well, that deck's trying to cast a spell to finish the game, like Kicked Fight with Fire, Bane Fire, stuff like that. All right, Maskalar. Um. There's a lot of cards in their deck that Justice Strike doesn't kill. I'll play a couple Negates. I'm going to have... Thanks, Maskalar. Yeah, there's the YouTube channel there. So please take a minute to load the YouTube channel and subscribe there. I am going to be doing another 12-hour stream if we get to a thousand YouTube subscribers, we are currently at, I think we passed 700 yesterday. We're at 753. And so that's somewhere we can find all the replays of our decks. Um, here we go. Thanks, Kao. <laughs> Will we do 12 hours right after this 12 hours? I certainly need to, to sleep. I could do 12 hours tomorrow, though. Could do back-to-back -back 12 hour days if we hit 1,000 today. We're only 250 YouTube subscribers away. We got 1,600 people in here watching. There's 1,600 people in here watching. All we need is... There's only 750 YouTube subscribers, so we just need 250, y'all. I can't do... I just can't do 24-hour stream. I can't stay up that long. Not sure how people do that. Night Owl with the donation deck. Best of three, any night after eight. All right, well, I can do that one tomorrow. I have three decks that I was just writing down for tomorrow. We need a fourth deck. So we got a fourth deck for our donation deck tomorrow. Best of three. Let's see what we got. Simic Adapt. Okay. So this is... This is Biomancer's Familiar, Hydroid Crasis, Zagana... Biogenic Ooze, a bunch of climbs. Okay. This looks pretty fun. Here's the deck list here if you want to check it out. Alright, let's go, Angels. Let's go, Angels. All right, Frenzic just subscribed on there. 761. Yeah, YouTube subscribers are free. It's, it's just free to sub. Just go on over there. Click sub. Let's 
kind of a weird attack that they had there. Hmm. No contempt either. Time to time to try to race this Carnage Tyrant. Planeswalkers are historic, yes. Um, historic spells are anything that's legendary or artifacts or sagas. All the legendary, all the planeswalkers are legendary. Dawnbringer has first strike, so finality would not kill this Dawnbringer still. So I'm not exactly sure what this attack's all about. All right, I'm getting the Teamer Vanifar deck up on YouTube right now. Do they have like fungal infection as well? If you want to see all like the previous decks we've been playing, um, streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG gets you there. All right, I like Clarion more on the draw. Let's get a couple Clarions back in. Um, I'll cut a couple Revitalize for him. Because on the draw, um, we're a little slower. It's harder for us to get to our four and five mana sweepers right away. Kind of want like the sweeper earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say it's more the second F nax, but it there's a lot of cards in the Esper Super Friends that was that were uh, pretty impressive. They were better than I thought they would be. I have 26 lands in the deck. I have a lot of lands. There we go. I think we could draw some lands. Yeah, Esper Super Friends is already up. You can have that on the other screen. Keep me on one screen. Have that on the other. Uh, I'm not gonna coil a one-two. Cause Sertros Canta is a ridiculously good card, and the difference between having it and not having it, big change in the deck. Not just the deck as in this deck, as in any deck. Um, it's just such a good card, so. Um, yeah, I. I don't hate three Search Roscanta and basically any Search Roscanta deck. This is th still the same match. We're in game three now. All right, come on, land. Come on, land. Hooray! So we'll have Raph come on in and block this Seeker Squire. The problem with like Raph block Seeker Squires, then they play Vivian and, and kill Raph. 
I think I would rather just pass. I'll take one more and have Wrath end step. How this thing goes is up to you. Meet my newest friend. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever played four Search Risk Cantos, honestly. Hmm. I could just go Teferi Tuck Vivian. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. I gotta keep my options open here. The problem with Teferi Tuck Vivian is then like the Seeker Squire gets to kill the Vivian or kill the Teferi, unless I keep Ra keep Raph back. But they could just have a removal spell for Raph. I shocked in there to have the option of just playing Teferi End Step um, if it felt like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a it's the blue Yeti Pro mic. This All right, one shall lie down. Ooh, that's gonna come into hand come in handy. I will be playing that after they play this Carnage Tyrant. Um, is there a spoiler on discussing the NFL game? Um, no, it's okay. Y'all can discuss the NFL game. That's fine. Y'all are good. Previously, I usually, I usually watch the Steelers and Cowboys games later on. Um, but yeah, y'all are fine. Go ahead. <laughs> you don't need to use that language though, BR Zig. I need to use that language. Or family friended. Family friendly. So I, I don't want the ravenous chupacabra to be in their graveyard to be able to get back. They kept Seeker Squire on top? Okay, so there's their sixth land. I was like, where's their sixth land? I am not let's skip to the good part. Alright, so they um so they should be playing Carnage Tyrant here. In that case then I'll you know I'm gonna urge this ruinous blast once this Carnage Tyrant hits the battlefield. Yeah, we, we could play Urza's Ernest Blast at instant speed. Yep. Uh, nubs, there could be some kind of filter. I, I'm not sure. Possible there is. Yeah, instant speeders as ruinous blast means that we're able to cast the Karn first, and <clears throat> untap some lands.
So they're they're thinking settle the wreckage, right? They're like, ah, oh, settle. Opponent's gonna settle this. So maybe they're like, huh, how do I attack around settle? And maybe they just don't attack with as many things. And I can wait. Ah, uh, dang it, they didn't play things ma main phase one. I was hoping they would play things main phase one. <laughs> well, fun, like checking the cards, like, wait a minute. Oh, where's his Rudas Blast? Is so good. That's fine. Keep up the pace. <laughs> we have one copy in the main, two more in the sideboard. Because, yeah, it's certainly really good in these kind of matchups. Like, this is like, the card star matchup is exactly what it's for. So I know we could flash in Searcher's Kanta with Wrath Compassion, um, but we're going to just be untapping the two lands anyway with Teferi, so we might as well just cast it. Well. We're going to need another one. Hold that thought. Hmm. I'll make use of that later. Oh, there's another one. Finally found it. Should have ticked out first. Sorry, Raph. For F. Team Robot wasn't that bad, honestly. We played lots of close games. We just lost them all. Um, but it wasn't so bad. And had some good interactions we found. And updated the deck list at the end. Parvel with the sub there with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Parvel, for the support. I'm glad you are enjoying the stream. I really do appreciate that. Let's skip to the good part. This will aid us. This right here will aid us. I mean, I guess I could just coil this Seeker Squire, I suppose. Yeah, this is certainly a competitive deck. Yeah, I've been liking this deck. We, uh... We've played two green creature decks so far. The dive down is to, yeah, to help save all of our legendary creatures that are all pretty important to have. Stop that. Now. All right, we'll just blast these things away. Oh. Hurry. I have not played a Hero Freezing one deck yet. Your patience is rewarded. Get your cat butt off the screen. Yeah. 
That game's over. I have one card. We have millions. Urza's Ruinous Blast. Got the good old four for one there with it. <laughs> you think Hawkeye knows where the camera is? All right, 2-0 here with the historic Jeskai deck. Yeah, you can find the Mardu deck in on my stream decker. Um, Mud Boy with the cheers for the kidder. Okay. Okay, the cheers for you. Um, let's keep. So we're basically just got control with some angels for like the win con. What's your favorite deck so far in this set? Um, maybe the Naya Value deck. Um, I know, there's still just so many things to explore. I really did like the Marty Aristocrats deck. I had a whole lot of fun with Quasi, Quasi Dupla Ooze last night. That was a whole lot of fun to play. Um, Yoshino Pyromancer. I'm just gonna go ahead and strike this. So I can leave up Absorb. And, uh, yeah. So I don't have to, like, take the two from the Pyromancer. We have a coil for another creature. I just played four games with it and went 4-0. Too much fun. That's awesome. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that deck. Absorb is really good. Three life we've been getting. Really helping out. So I guess my plan next turn is just to coil the Lava Runner and keep Absorb up. Because I, I want to be able to counter an Experimental Frenzy. That's the card that I'm most worried about with this Absorb. We had the two, so I used the one on the Steamkin because we had two... Um, absorbs ready to go. Oh, I didn't reset. I didn't reset the game. I didn't do like a, a quick reset because it's all laggy. I forgot to do that. I was just in game three last time when we were talking about that. There are no sets that will rotate anytime soon. Um... The next time sets will there's only sets only rotate one time every year and that's in the fall. <laughs> yeah, experimental frenzy is like the card that will help save them. But so and then I use the absorb there because we have the Ru ruinous blast. Ruinous blast can get rid of a frenzy. Also, uh, you know, obviously we need a legend to turn it on, but um, I think it's fine. You know, because. They had one card. We don't know if that one card is Frenzy to begin with. Um, so, I thought it was worth it to... Not take a lot of damage from the Chain Whirler. I 
There will be a new non-rotating format with just the arena sets. I think so. Okay, well, it was Frenzy, unfortunately. And we still haven't drawn a legend yet. Legendary lands don't do anything for Urza's Runa's Blast. You, you can cast a legendary sorcery only if you control a legendary creature or planeswalker. Well, now I completely regret countering that. The Chain Whirler. All right, like a Zoe. Have a good time eating some food. Man, that was a rough frenzy for us. So I'm going to want Binding, Nova, Coil, Clarion, Negates, Blast Out, Hmm. I don't need Nova. So this is 66. Karn out. 65. Um, I think I like Dive Down. Like, protecting Dawnbringer. Like, they can't really beat Dawnbringer. Shalai's also really good against them. Like, protecting these things, quite good. I think I can take a one Raph out. Raph, Raph's not nearly as good. Maybe I'll just take out all, all the Raphs. Yeah, I can just take out Raph. Um, so that's 62. I could cut one search for Ascanta. That's 61. And one Negate. Yeah, we got Absorb as well. Take out one Negate. Okay. Yeah, Takali is good against. It stops the the trigger for Chain Whirler or Empire Man. So the the Chain Whirler trigger is just deal one damage to me. Which is not the biggest thing to to stop. The thing is, it's also just a one three that they can kind of attack over pretty easily. It just died my own Clarions. Um, don't think I need it in this matchup. All right, so we got double coil Clarion, and hopefully we just kind of draw some lands like we did last game, and get to Dawnbringer into Fairy. Yeah, I haven't seen many people play in the Spectacle cards recently. Maybe that's a best of one thing. Seen a lot of like old lists here in best of three. Come on, land. Yeah, I like light the stage quite a bit. Light up the stage. not a land. We're gonna need our land. That's unfortunate.
Land. Yay. Alright, we're still in it. Now we need two more lands. That's the first of three that we needed. One more we can binding and experimental frenzy. That'd be really good. Alright, come on, land. Land! Oh my gosh. Uh, well, we'll have to wait. We got an absorb for this turn at least. And we're still looking really good here, as long as we draw a land. Kind of looks like maybe they just got another Experimental Frenzy on top. Yep. I think they just got another Experimental Frenzy on top there. Of course, they should be just destroying their, this frenzy in response here. Whoa. That actually worked. Hmm. Unexpected. Alright, shall I first protect Dawnbringer? You think they had Lava Coil on top? It's certainly possible. And they just had no, no targets for the Lava Coil. It's certainly possible. I don't know. They're reading Ixalan's Binding right now. So having Shalai protect Dawnbringer basically from a removal spell. Like, if they have, like, a fight with fire or something like that, like, they have to kill Shalai first. Like, because whenever I play Dawnbringer, Dawnbringer will have Hexproof now. So they'll have to kill Shalai first before Dawnbringer. So you, even if they had, like, two burn spells, you know, like, Shock, Lightning Strike, something like that, they can't just kill Dawnbringer right away. We got this game. We gotta win. Uh, gotta win the game three on the draw, though. Yeah, so I think, I think it was a misplay of them to not destroy the frenzy. I don't. I guess they didn't realize what the binding was gonna do. To get all the deck lists, exclamation point decks. All right, let's try one more time. See if we can get this game three on the draw. All the decks from yesterday and today are new deck lists with Ravnica Allegiance cards. The decks before that were not. Hmm. We have nine points of life gain. That's sure a lot of life. Twelve life gain. Um, yeah, there's. Pro I'm sure there's incorporation from our RNA to a Drake, but I'm, I'm not the best one to ask about that specific deck. Um, I haven't played it too much myself. But swap dive downs for chemistry's insight. Those do completely different things. Um, I'm happy with the dive down, like that we can protect it, like a Dawnbringer. You know, like later on, we'll have, so six man will drop Dawnbringer and then have dive down up, and it'll just basically end the game. Um, so I could revitalize here and see if we draw like a blue shock land that we can put into play tapped. 
like it would certainly be better for, like I'd, I'd much rather play a, a blue land here than uh than not because of absorb but I kind of like just having the two mana up and having my opponent think that I may have a counter spell. And maybe they play a, just a tad bit slower around a counter spell. You know, like maybe they don't play a frenzy this turn or something. Nope. Marty decklist is in here. Definitely enjoyed that Marty decklist. I think it's good. From the decks you've played against, which of them felt the strongest? Or from the decks you have played, which of them felt the strongest? Which would be best for best of one? Yeah, I... I honestly don't have a good answer for what would work best in best of one because best of one really is just kind of a different format with how with how it works with like how the hands are generated and everything. Um, and I, I just don't play best of one, so I, I don't have a good answer there. Um, you know, any any answer I'd have would just be complete guesswork. Um, but I'm. I really liked the Naya Value deck we played yesterday, and I'm excited to play that again here in a couple leagues. All right, so they learned to make sure to destroy their exp experimental frenzy. Unfortunately, they destroyed it a little too early. So we're able to get the Firebrand also. Demanding Dragon's a good card. Can we get our lands, please? Lands. Ugh. So I'm just going Clarion plus Coil, uh, trading two for two to take out this Demanding Dragon. I could, of course, just play the Dawnbringer, but I'm I'm worried they would kill Dawnbringer and then hit me for a bunch. Um, and so I would much prefer to, to hopefully draw a land next turn where I can have the dive down to protect the Dawnbringer. The game timer use a chess clock. No, I like the current, I think the current system is just fine. That's a good draw. So presumably they drew a burn spell here for Shalai. That they're willing to make that attack. Or or not. Alright, this game's over. We're three and O. Oh. We didn't even draw a second blue for these. Uh, for these absorbs. Again, I wanted, like, Shalai protects Dawnbringer. Shalai is, is the better card to play first before Dawnbringer. Um... All right, yeah. Restart the client here. I'll just take a, just take a few seconds. Thanks, y'all, for the update there. Help, help me remember. Um, everybody there with the... Don't forget to restart your client. Ugh.
All right, 3-0. Oh. Jessica feeling pretty good. Jessica's feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm playing Gates. After this, we're playing Gates and then Naya Value. Um, Y'all are going to have to help me build the Gates deck. Um, yeah, we're going to build that and then Naya Value after that. Mr. Previously with the sub, sub number 20, 23. I was, I missed one. 23 on the day. That gets some hype in the channel. Two more subs, and we are uh, opening up another pack of Ravnica Allegiance. Thanks, bro. Um, I'll say that I was surprised by a lot of the cards in the Esper deck. I did not expect it to do very good, but it did. It did pretty good, and and uh, have to get credit for it. And um. Cards like Absorb really worked well with the deck. Um, just a lot of the life gain cards were, were quite good. Surprisingly good. Um, not Q, thank you so much for that support also. You are a rock star. And that is sub number 24. <laughs> Kaya MVP. Yeah, Kaya actually did some stuff sometimes. Nice. We have the... End step Wrath into Untap Blast, where they're just not expecting it. I haven't played Mono Red. Looks like Deafening Clarion is perfect here. It's what the Spaniards call El Perfecto. Another mono red opponent, and I think our our mono red matchup's probably pretty good. Oh right, that doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'll, yeah. So that's good. So we'll have absorb up. And then next turn we can play like Aurelia or Raph with dive down. Well, they're like tapping out for that, so I'm just gonna cast this absorb. Absorb just counters like both burn spells they played previously. Yeah, I'm just playing standard these days. I haven't enjoyed Magic Online or, or Modern last times I played it, and I also have much, much, much fewer viewers with magic online and I just I don't think it's worth it so sorry I'm just taking standard decks Made them use a whole lot of resources. Yeah. Made them use a whole lot of resources. Alright, so last time... Like... Taking Blast out, putting these bindings in, putting in two Negate, one Coil, one Clarion. And we cut Wrath and Karn. That's 61. What else did I cut? I cut one Search for Escanta. I think I've, I kind of regret cutting that Search for Escanta, honestly. I think I'm just going to take out and take a gate back out. I don't know. Like we have, like we haven't like hit our lands and stuff. I think we may need the search to help hit our lands. Let's take a Teferi out, actually. Get the gate back in here. We don't need three Teferis, I don't think. Teferi costs a lot of mana. Okay. We hopefully have turn three Clarion again. Turn three Clarion is certainly 
Uh, certainly pretty necessary. That was a, a big reason why we won that last game. They had, just like this, they had Steamkin into Chain Whirler, and then we had Clarion. So, first two draws are not white mana. We get we get to look at four cards before a turn three for white mana. Yep, they have this same start, so... Come on, white mana. One of our first four cards be white mana, please. That's not it. Tilt. Well, that's really unfortunate. Hey, minus three, Karn. Been doing really, really well. Thanks for joining in. Hawkeye's doing good, too. He's just up here. White mana. Uh, uh. Uh, that's frustrating. So we looked at six cards there with no white mana. So besides the seven cards in our hand, 13 cards. Here we go. Um, all these lands come into play tapped, though, but we're on the play. Shock land. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and shock in. Hey, MTD Nerd Girl, how was your stream last night? Sorry, I didn't stick around. I was really tired and hosted and went to sleep. It was good. Good. Dun, dun. All right. Get that negate in there. Keep the life total high. Hmm. Well, now I have coil, but I don't have... Don't have negate now. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> oh no, I need that coil again. Ready for this yeah, Teferi's gonna die. That's okay. Oh, it dies this way? I was hoping they'd have to like use this use a card um to kill it. Only time will tell. Hmm. Uh All right, getting just getting punished for using the negate just so many different ways. So the absorb. If I didn't use negate, I could wait a turn on Dawnbringer and have negate available. You think Lyra into Teferi with absorb would have been better? Yeah, I am. I am regretting not doing. Regretting not doing that right about now. All right, we got lots of sweepers in our deck. We can get any of them, like a Deafening Clarion would be good. I guess we don't have lots of sweepers. I guess I don't. Let's have Deafening Clarion. Yeah. I think I messed that up. I think I should have just absorbed on turn three instead of negated. The Wizards Lightning kind of in general. Or just not do either and just take it. Yeah, I think I definitely could have won that game. I think I, I miss, missequenced. All right, three and one. The Rekindling Phoenix messed me up. Uh, 
All right, this is another hand of not having white mana. How many white sources do we have in our deck? Do we not have enough or something? Three, six, nine, ten, fourteen. Uh, only fourteen. Yeah, that's not very many. I think we may have too many. Maybe we have too many red sources, or too many blue. We don't really have. I guess we have double blue with absorb. I dive down to protect my search for Scanta. No Vivian. No Vivian. Okay, it's not a Vivian. That's good. Hmm. Oh, that comes into play untapped. Good. US Mint with the sub for the seventh month in a row. Welcome back. Thank you so much. So that's sub number 25. That means it's going to be pack time after this game. Counter that. We defeated a Golgari deck earlier. Uh, we're a lot better against Golgari after sideboarding. Most definitely. I'm just never gonna kill this Jade Light Ranger. But we got our Urza's Ruinous Blast in the sideboard really help this matchup out. Man, just to strike such a bad card. Hmm. Um. We need lava coils. Not just a strike. I should just be playing Rap Compassion here. Ruinous Blast? Graveyard. Hmm. How are we doing on we got six cards in the library or in the graveyard? So if I play this search for us canta it'll be the seventh. I'm just gonna be able to have Raph with dive down available. Um, I could see either way of them adding foils or not adding foils. Um, it's kind of likely that they'll add foils at some point, I suppose. They may just have another Contempt, honestly. They may just be sitting there with a lot of Contempts in their hand. Okay. And now we get to flip the Escanta. 
Uh, Memorial to Folly. Gets Midnight Reaper back because I've never exiled it yet. Right? The I wish they would let us choose more basic art for basic lands or especially like yeah when you're playing limited. Limited they just have like the one basic art and it's like not even a good one. Um one, two, three, four, five. Draw a I'm card. Known for my excellent time. Hurry. There's a coil. So we can get that jade light out of here. Finally. And now we can definitely clear on plus justice strike next turn. Then we can clear the entire battlefield. Um No, so I, I couldn't kill that Jade Light because I can't let them flip the Journey to Eternity. And now we're in a trouble with this Midnight Reaper. If I Clarion first, they get to draw two cards. And then I Justice Strike the Find Broker. I'm going to draw three cards. I guess I can just tuck Mid Midnight Reaper with the fairy. I just tuck it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Our prayers have been answered. <sighs> Our prayers have been answered. Um, yeah, so I can activate Escanta. And still cast Urza's Runa's Blast. I'm just doing that first because you know how... You know what? I'm not done yet. The program is it'll just automatically tap the Ascanta, and I don't want it to automatically tap the Ascanta. It's not instant speed because I don't have Wrath Compassion in play. Hey, track team, day's going great. We got a new standard. Absorbs good. This is looking good we for us. Move quickly. Looking real good. Ooh, look at those four red white lands going down to the bottom. Find finality, huh? Oh no. That card. Do need to find things to end the game, I suppose. Carnage Tyrant is, you know, like a tough draw. Okay. Say so Carnage Tyrant's a card that I don't really have an answer to left. Um, let's go Nova, Blast. What did last time? Like two Negate. I actually just took out Clarion last time. Took out Justice Strike. Um. And then this is 60. I'm supposed to be playing Honor Guard, of course. Honor Guard comes in. Revitalize out. Two of those out. Coil. Coil in. There we go. Perfect. 
Binding doesn't work very good with Blast. I don't want, you know, this is an Urza's Ruinous Blast matchup. I don't want to have Binding because then that, that gets exiled. Um, yeah, so I don't want, don't want that there. Is not Stroke better than Negate here? For the most part. Um, Assassin's Trophy. And Find. That's the card. Find. Find Disdainful Stroke does not hit. Yeah, Find is the card that I want to counter with Negate. Because I don't... I mean, I guess Chupacabra is good against me. Can't really say I don't mind Chupacabra because it is good against me. Pretty surprising they did not sideboard out Journey to Eternity against the Lava Coil deck. Giving me Dawnbringer, huh? You'd rather give me that than negate. My retribution will be sweet. I guess I just go get negate and put it in my hand. No, I'll take up. I'll make use of that later. Yeah, poor guy. They're just trying to journey to eternity, right? They're just trying. Ah, uh, they probably have Carnage Tyrant and miss the land drop. Are you certain of your decision? I can certainly see Ravenous Chupacabra being the card that's being cast here. Contempt? They just never contempted the Karn? Are they not contempting Karn? The time has come. Give us negate. There's the Chupacabra. Get a land here. Ugh. Let's get that thing out of here for good. Don't have to worry about killing it and then like a fine finality. Anything like that. Yeah, they really need to get rid of Karn. With that contempt earlier, but. Alright, four and one. And our one loss was a match that I probably should have won. Probably should have won. All right, did we get the pack for getting to 25 subs? When did we get there? No, we just got there 14 minutes ago. I certainly did not get a pack 14 minutes ago. All right, that means it's pack time. 
Pack. Alright, we're really hoping it's a mythic, not a rare. Um... This went through the collection, how, like, the rares that I've left are just kind of a bunch of not-so-good rares, except for, like, Absorb. Like, one Absorb. Um, but there are lots of good Mythics left, so. I hope it's a Mythic. Is it a Mythic? Biomancer's Familiar. Hey, that card was donate. That's part of the donation deck for tomorrow, so. That's good. So running legend what's the benefit to playing legends over control build is you are you're better against uh aggro with having the angels you're better against the aggro there and you have a ridiculously good sweeper against carnage tyrant and golgari decks and things like that with uh, urza's ruinous blast hey surgeon good games Two questions. How do you like your Jund aggro deck? Um, it Jund aggro deck certainly needs a lot of work. Um, some of the cards are pretty good, but overall, that the deck needs a lot of work. Um, favorite angel deck nowadays? I'm not sure. Mardu Angels is the only deck I've played since uh, the new set has come out, and I can say I was presently uh, presently pleased with how good Seraph of the Scales was. So, I liked the the Mardu Angels. But yeah, all of these, um, not all of these, but yeah, some of these decks still definitely need tuning. Uh, mirror match. We do not have a good hand for mirror match. And we're also just, our deck's not as good against control decks as typical control decks, because we're much, you know, we're much more anti-aggro. Um, so, you know, like, we don't have, like, the counter magic that other control decks do. And, like, our threats are easily answered with, like, the main deck removal. Yeah, there's going to be some good stuff with Orzov. I don't know if you're going to need just Orzov by itself. Um, but, yeah, there's going to be good things with Orzov. It is the final boss. That is true. We got the final boss here. Ooh, Search for Scanta is real good. Certainly like that one quite a bit. I could see, like, attacking and, like, trading Raph and Clarion for Drake. I don't know. Alright. Oh, yeah, I could flash out Scanta. That's true. Right. Did just give them the opportunity to untap and have like a three mana counter spell though for the Escanta. Of course, you know, they had a Clarion which could cost them three mana. I cannot flash in Lyra. When they Clarioned, I, I didn't have two mana left either. Uh, 
Uh, I need to put the stop on my end stop. I wanted to just to strike that crackling drake there. They're gonna play something. They're gonna go to discard. So, at least they still have to go to discard. But yeah, Crackling Drake and niv -Mizzet. These are threats that are a lot better against blue decks. Our threats are a lot better against aggro decks. Hmm. So, one, two, three, one, two, three... I didn't miss the ju Oh, yeah, I guess I did miss the... Oh, yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah, good thing we did miss the just Strike, yeah. We still had there, that there. Um. Hmm. Don't just don't love my options. It's basically giving our opponent plus two cards to kill their Drake, but yeah, that might have been better. It's plus two cards and we tap out to kill their Drake. No, I haven't sold my moto stuff. No, our, our opponent's a control deck. See what they do. So they're just fine with untapping. Hope they don't have two counter spells. We'll flash in the Dawnbringer here. With Absorb backup. Even if they do have the other counter spell, then we just block with Wrath uh, and play Teferi and tuck the Crackling Drake. Or I could just go double Deafening Clarion. It's probably better just to, to play the Teferi, though. Unfortunately, we're not going to have the mana to Teferi plus Ruinous Blast. That would be pretty nice. Let's slow this down. Reverse! They still have lots and lots of cards. And they drew a land so they can have Teferi plus Counterspell. Ugh. 
That's unfortunate. Uh, that's really unfortunate. I can no longer stand by and watch. Ooh, they Hold did not tuck my to fairy. They're gonna let me have to fairy in play. Nice. That is certainly good for me, with having Ascanta available and being able to activate it. Let's skip to the good part. Hmm. Well, there's. There's four lands. Thanks, Bones. Yeah, Mardu Aristocrats is sweet. Bones with the sub also. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime sub here. I get some hype boats in the chat. Thank you. Uh, Rakdos, you can you. Rakdos would just be a different deck. You'd play like Rakdos aggro. It wouldn't be an aristocrat deck. All right, so Ruinous Blast can exile the Drakes. Um, how much loyalty do theirs have? Two. I could double Clarion, or I could just ruin his blast and exile him. Keep up the pace. I think I'd rather do that. Yeah, because that, that allows me to activate Ascanta twice. I know, right? Why well, can't Blast hit there to Fairy, right? Uh, no, I'm probably not going to be grinding to Mythic in best of three. I don't know, we'll see. There's not really any prizes for grinding mythic. No time. And I like break. these events where you pay your entry fee, win, win gold. I like, the, you know, pay gold, win gold. I like them. Dang it! Not much I would have taken the dive down before. Just to fairy, tuck there to fairy. Play new to fairy. You need to take a time out. On schedule. Ooh. Hold that thought. Um. Guess might as well go down to three. What's like? What's in my deck that's gonna win this game here? I've used all my counter spells. No, I have one more counter spell. It's probably better to have Search Rose Kanta in play than just having one activation on an, this as Kanta here. So. 
No, not right now. There sometimes that they that they're sometimes they design sets that are built around artifacts. Right now there there aren't any in standard uh, too much, and so there's there's not many artifacts in standard right now. Sorry, I'm late. Not so fast. We can still play that to fairy next turn. Um, because of Ara's Kanta. We know that they. If oh wait, show remorse, we don't know if they're gonna draw I'll another Teferi. Yeah, we'll just tuck. Let's take it. Teferi ping pong. And this match has been very interactive. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to win. I won't hide from the world any longer. Yeah, Time yeah, yeah. It's much more malleable than people think. We need to start drawing our creatures. Opponent, opponents at 23 cards. We are at um less than that. That in the gate. I a curious choice. So they're at twenty-three. I've gone I've as canted through my whole deck now, so I guess I don't I have one absorb left, I don't have any Teferis left, I have a lot of angels towards the bottom. Keep up the pace. They're down to 18 cards. Dovin. I want an entire tree. You're doing this on your impending failure. Coil this. All right. So if I if I activate Ascanta, I'll get another search for Ascanta, and then next turn I can draw or I can tick up and put Steam Vents into my hand. If I tick up on Karn, then and Shalai will be exiled. And then next turn, I'll draw a really. I can minus and grab Shalai. The choices we make reveal who we are. Do have to worry about decking out myself. We need to move quickly. It's gonna be a really close game. I am tired by a good assault. Or, you know, our opponent has a full grip of cards. They got seven cards. Most likely have a lot of removal spells. So 
I have Absorb available. I don't have... I, I could also just activate Ascanta and grab Dive Down. I cannot absorb and activate Ascanta and Dive Down. Can't do everything. Maybe I should have just deafening Clarion to weigh those two things first. That's probably really greedy that I didn't do that. Reverse. I'm gonna have absorb because it can gain life. Okay. Back up to five. So even if they had a removal spell for the Aurelia, we got that three life. And another Teferi gone. How many Teferis are gone from them now? One, two... Just two? That's a tilt. All four Crackling Drakes. One Niv-Mizzet, two Teferi. Tilt. Alright, so my mistake was not casting the Deafening Clarion there, because then I wouldn't need to use the Absorb on the Teferi. And I could have still kept the Absorb for that Electro Dominance. Alright, so let's get some Tithe Takers in here. Stroke, more Negates. Um, Alright, Blast is out. Clarion is out. I can certainly see them playing uh, Legion Warboss, though. Things like our our way to win the game is not very good against control with like Dawnbringer, Shalai, Aurelia, Raph Capacit. Like these are not good threats against control. They're really good against aggro, but not good against control. They have such better threats than we do. Uh, this is the Black Keys right now. Uh. Binding is really good against Teferi, but I don't want to play it against anything else. Maybe I just have it for just the answers for Teferi. Because if I play against anything else, they just use Teferi and tuck it, and it's annoying. All right, we'll play the bindings. What threats are good against control? Cheap, cheaper threats. Threats that are hard to kill. Threats that are not counterable. Four and five mana creatures that are very easy to kill and very easy to counter. And they don't have... Other threats that are good are, are threats that whenever you... Whenever they enter the battlefield, they give you an advantage. They give you card advantage engines. Or card advantage, like those are good threats against control. So that's like Jade Light Ranger, um, you know, like that kind of stuff. We just play Bane. We just play Bane Slayer, um, and it doesn't really do anything. Alright, Tithe Takers, do your thing. Start attacking. Make it so they can't counter my Karn next turn. I 
I will defend my allies. The next set is also Ravnica. It's like the conclusion of like this epic battle between the bunch of planeswalkers um, and Nicol Bolas. All right, Tithe Taker. Um, there we go. My favorite deck thus far to play was probably the quasi quasi duplicate ooze deck we played yesterday. That was a whole lot of fun. Yeah, we're not sure who's going to win yet. With that. That's what the storyline is going to. Yeah, Ooze Duplicate did well. Yeah. Thanks, Minasar. Bolas and Jace. So you think Jace is going to join forces with Bolas? Yeah, Martyr Aristocrats went went really well, and it, it felt really strong. Um, yeah, I really liked what, where we were at with that deck. It certainly needs, certainly still needs some tuning, especially sideboard. Um, but I think it's a it's an aggro deck that's really good against control. We'll coil this and have negate available for it to ferry. I think Jace is still the living guild pack, but I think he's other things now as well. This is let's skip to the good part. There hasn't even been a, a good Jace in Standard in a long time. That Jace that's currently in Standard doesn't even see play. Like, I forgot that that's even in... in... in, uh, Standard. Like, Teferi's a lot more annoying to me than Jace is. Hmm. Hurry! Yeah, Origins Jace was really good. Origins Jace was pretty was fun to play too. I really liked the the flip walkers in Origins. Those were all like really well designed. Magic Origins was a really well designed set. It's one of my favorite sets of all time. No time for a break. Well, no, the Tithe Taker is not the only white card. It the important thing is the the black white sack outlet. I don't think you could make... You can't make the Aristocrat style deck without the black-white card. Yeah, I used to play paper events a lot. I do. I don't anymore. Um, yeah, I have a. I have a large paper collection. Um, but and now stay home. Stay at home. Stream. 
and don't travel as much. You know what? I'm not done yet. I like the staying at home stream life. No, I don't really collect the paper cards anymore. Yeah, it does. The traveling does get a little old. Um. Ooh, that resolved. We have Teferi Emblem. Yeah, Teferi Emblem certainly going to end it. Okay. The deck ended up winning. Our cards matched up really well against theirs there. And I, I think that they were pretty hasty with, like, the jam, like, just jamming, crackling Drake, jamming Teferi and things like that. I think they could have been more patient. Um, so I think they were just just too, too hasty there at the end of that long match. Um, so there we go. All right, we got a couple of rares that I guess I already had. And 2,100 gold. So Jeskai Legends with a 5-1. Very nice. All right. Okay. Very nice, very nice. All right. Uh, up next, we're going to be playing a Gates deck. So, yes, yeah, so that was a good donation deck there from Zerf. Thanks, Zerf. Um, yeah, the, the Legends deck feels pretty good. Um, the Tithe Taker in the sideboard is pretty interesting. And... Yeah, this this deck felt pretty good, and the fact that we actually beat Control, I thought I was definitely worried about us defeating Control, um, but we took that one down. So there we go. Yeah, good Dono decks today for sure. Yeah, good donation decks. Um, okay. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, of course, and I'll see you for the next video.